Hi everybody. In this lesson, we will apply what we've learned so far in this module to analyze uniform motion. Uniform motion. What do I mean when I say the motion is uniform? Uniform motion is when an object moves with a constant velocity. So uniform motion is just equal to the motion of an object with a constant velocity. The motion of an object with a constant velocity. Now, if the velocity is constant, what does that mean? It means it doesn't change. In other words, delta V is zero. And because A is delta V over delta T, that means that A is zero. This is an interesting statement. I'm going to expand it pretty soon. So uniform motion is a zero acceleration motion. Now here's the thing. We know that um, <clears throat> generally R is equal to R naught plus the integral from zero to T V dt. So, if A is equal to zero, then V is constant. That means that V is constant. And if that is the case, then we can take this outside of the integral sign and R becomes R naught plus V, the integral from zero to T dt, which will be equal to R naught plus V T. That means that for an object undergoing uniform motion, R is equal to R naught plus Vt. This equation describes uniform motion. In other words, this equation is a model that we can use to predict the motion of an object that is moving with a constant velocity. Let me say that again. This equation is a model that can be used to predict the motion of an object that is moving with a constant velocity. Now here's the deal. R is, has an x, y, z component. V has an x, y, z component. That means this is a vector equation And if it is a vector equation, this equation embodies three equations in itself, one for each direction. So along the x direction, we will have x equal to x naught plus vxt. We will have y equal to y naught plus vyt. And we will have z equal to z naught plus v z t and remember you can only use this set of equations provided v is constant so if we draw the graph for example let me pick the x direction if we draw the graph of 
x against t is going to look like this. This is x naught. In this case, v is greater than 0. But if we draw the graph of x, this is x naught, and the graph is like this. In this case, v is less than 0. If v is greater than 0, it means that the particle is moving in the direction of increasing x. In other words, the particle is moving to the right. But if v is less than 0, it means that the particle is moving in the direction of decreasing x. In other words, the particle is moving to the left. We're inherently assuming that the right is positive and the left is negative. Thank you.